Resident Evil. That's always fun to say, isn't it? And you can't say every game title like that. Let's try Ms. Pac-Man. It just doesn't really work for that game, but you can always growl Resident Evil and know you're doing it right. And let me start off by saying that I love the menu music in this game. It's just catchy. This is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City from Slant 6 Games and Capcom. An action game that takes place in the 1998 outbreak in Raccoon City. See, isn't, isn't that music fun to listen to? It's just catchy. It fits the game. Here's the concept art gallery that you unlock as you collect stuff and I just crushed Raccoon City because I really enjoyed this one. Yet I think Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City will be a polarizing game amongst fans of the Resident Evil series. This is an action shooter and not a dark brooding suspense horror game. Even though it takes place during the familiar 1998 Raccoon City Outbreak, originally featured in Resident Evil 2. You play as a Delta team hired by the Umbrella Corporation, whose job is to infiltrate Raccoon City, clean up the mess left after the outbreak, and eliminate any evidence of their involvement. And you've got to wonder why Umbrella didn't just nuke this place from orbit. It seems like it would have been a lot less work for them. In any event, you choose your squad member, and there's several to choose from, each with their own skills, of course. And you'll even encounter some familiar Resident Evil friends, like Claire Redfield, Leon S. Kennedy, Nikolai, and Luigi. I mean, Ada Wong, sorry, I always get those two confused. Die, you tongue-lashing things as you play the game you earn experience that you use to level your characters up and unlock new weapons and skills that really make a difference in combat my favorite of which is the one where you fire incendiary rounds at zombies lighting them all on fire that never gets old ever Where this will split opinions is in this style, because obviously this is very different from Resident Evil 4 and 5, and certainly quite different from the earlier ones. It's an action game. The emphasis is not on plot and atmosphere, it's on action. And as a fan of the Resident Evil series, I like the game because it's a different take on the Resident Evil universe that allows me to run and shoot at the same time. It has a totally different feel than Resident Evil 5. In fact, they're completely different games. The only things they have in common are that they share a familiar enemy and a similar name. For those who found the Resident Evil games too slow and cumbersome, you might really enjoy this fresh action take, where you play as a squad. And of course, like other squad-based combat games, you can invite your friends to play with you online if they have a copy of the game. Or you can just use computer-controlled squad mates, which are dumb as bricks, but fun to shoot at. When in doubt, just light everybody around you on fire. Works every time. Don't forget to take your antidote. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City is available for the Xbox 360 and PS3. This is the PlayStation 3 version. And while it's not a terribly long game, you can replay missions over and over again at increased difficulties. And you earn a score at the end of each round or playthrough or whatever. Kind of reminds me of a Sega game in that respect. Birkin injected himself with a G-Virus. There's nothing you can do. It also has multiplayer, and I just found Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City to be good fun. If you don't like your Resident Evil universe tampered with, you might not enjoy this one, but if you're looking for a good fast-paced action game that takes place in the Resident Evil universe, then I highly recommend it. 
Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. It's a nice place to visit, a better place to light things on fire. <laughs>